Hey there, welcome to Threadhead. This week we're hanging out in Austin at the Stitch Fashion Show at the Gorilla Craft Bazaar. Started by four members of the Austin Craft Mafia, Jennifer Perkins of Naughty Secretary Club, Jesse Kelly Landis of Ahmed and Sasha, Tina Sparkles of Sparkle Craft, and Carly Hand of Identity Crisis Clothing. Welcome to the fifth annual Stitch. Nitty gritty, bitches. These are all uh, vintage bed sheets. A lot of times you go to these craft fairs and 99% of the accessories are for women. And there's never anything for guys. And so it, and it just makes me happy to think of some guy going to his office queue wearing a Star Trek tie. Oh, Destro, I love you so much. He's like, ah, yeah, I do. I this is a smitten. It's not a mitten, it's a smitten. And this is uh, so two people can hold hands while it's cold outside. We're here with Laurel, who is an avid watcher of the show. And I look at the fairy them. wings. So tell us where you learned to make those, Laurel. Of course, on Threadbangers. Threadbangers! I love like Threadbangers! Uh, my name is David Murray, and I'm an illustrator, designer, and screen printer who does stuff under the name of Save. It's kind of my way of bringing uh, like a weird world that I enjoy into, I guess, mainstream culture. And it was kind of the one way I figured I could make a living as an artist. Like they say you could make a living doing anything if you just work really hard at it. And I think that's true. So, you know, I make goofy zombie shirts and draw dinosaurs. My name is Matt Stinchcomb. I'm one of the vice presidents of Etsy.com and I took the pledge to buy handmade this holiday season. Basically, we're just trying to get people to uh, think about where their money's going and make sure it's not going to some big box corporation and going to support independent artists instead. Buyhandmade.org. Hey, we'll be right back. We got some more shopping to do. Hey, monkey. Golly, the earth looks pretty tonight. We should treat it better. Don't you think? What's that now? Holy f And we're gonna make leg warmers from a sweater. They're gonna be purple to match our charming model's hats. So, first thing you wanna do, decide how long you want your um, leggings to be. If you're happy with them being this long, then you can just use the sleeves. What you're gonna wanna do is cut the sleeves off. So next thing is, turn them inside out, pull it on your leg. So we're gonna do a fitting. So, you want to take the seam part, which is the underarm seam here, because you don't want to make extra seams, you want to use the same one that they had and then just kind of take it in a little bit, so then you just take your pin and you're going to do plenty tight so that it'll stay up. Then your pin. Now, you pull it off, you lay this out, and you're going to connect the knots or connect the pins. And what you're doing is you're kind of giving yourself a road map for when you're sewing. There you go, fall on the lines. All right, so then the next step is gonna be to trim off the extra fabric. If you wanted to make sure you like the fit, you flip them right side out and pull them on again. Now all you have to do is finish the top edge of it so that they don't come unraveled. Same thing to the other one. Transform your old sweaters and turn them into something new. Yo, my name is Nameless, aka Maxwell Sherman. My company's Root for Your Heart's Little Snotties. Well, we're, um, Seattle based. Base Needle. We find all of our fabrics at, you know, Goodwill and then we recreate them. Uh, a lot of it is like hoodies, jerseys. I just started out like spray painting and recreating t shirts for my hip hop collective, trying to make a little bit of money at shows because. Nobody would buy my music, so I thought maybe they'd buy my clothes, and that started to do really well. So we had a super rad time at Stitch. Thanks to everyone who made it possible. Oh, hey, look at that. There we are. Time now for some super exciting news. Uh, yeah. 
Last week on the forum, we reached 2,000 forum members. On YouTube, we have over 8,000 subscribers. And last week's episode got over 100 comments on the Threadbanger site alone. So if you haven't subscribed to us yet on YouTube or checked out the forums over at Threadbanger.com, make sure you hit them up after the show. And leave a comment while you're at it. Next week, we show you some really cool DIY shops in Austin and get a rockin' embroidery lesson from a member of the Austin Craft Mafia. Till then, we're out of here. I love Threadbangers. Threadbangers rules. Rocks, even. Yes! <laughs>